the onion bag and light the lamp. All right. I'm going to deafen and mute myself. Uh, you guys go ahead and just do regular check, check, check. Uh, do like uh, on the table. Oh, I thought you were doing it already. That's why I said me first. Check, 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 check. Where will you be telling us if we sound good? Check, check, check in the Discord, baby. I don't know. Yeah. Check, 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 check. I definitely can't compete with that song, but this is me talking. Oh, damn. Spoken well, word. Hit it. Hit that spoken word. Uh, check, 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 check. It's me, Tommy. Check, check. I'm quieter than Paulito. That's cray. You're quieter hey, than me. Okay, That's weird. I'm actually quieter than you, which is very no surprising. No Over way. the Discord, you sound fine, but yeah. there's too many options here. Mm. That shit cray. I'm super loud, apparently. On the stream, we are quiet. So what if I do this, Ivan? Does this help at all? Any bit? Yeah. Wah, 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 wah. I used to do this thing where I change my voice. Tommy, like Jesse, Tommy, are, are, are terrible. All quiet. So what you might need to do is turn us up in Discord, Jesso, and turn us yeah. down in your headphones. Because right. okay. it sounds like we're all quiet. All right, I'm going to do this individually. Paul, give me the check. Oh, shit. Paul, Mike, all the way check. Mike, check. No, just, One, do your, two. just do your main. Check your main output before just doing names. My, my Man, congratulations, Paul. Is, Paul, is Paul. Best. Paul is best. Your, I like to hear that. Success. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Obviously, my we can't hear volumes you. are maxed out. Oh, y -W, y w Bush. Y W. All right. Good old W. W W W. Good old Mountain Dew. What? Uh, does this help at all? Any? Oh, I haven't just. Oh, he muted us in Discord. Okay. Does this help at all? Any? He's Do typing. He's better? typing though. I don't see he is typing. typing though. Is he? Ivan, I can trade you in a moment to Are you listen. Sure? I'm going to check, check. Yep, I can see him typing in the room. I don't. Check, 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 check. Inconsequential space egg. Uh, Paul is best audio. Obviously can't hear myself. You're welcome. Nah. Sure, yeah, Paul. If you switch off out. and see it. All right, Paul, you switch. You mute since you sound the best. Yeah, since you're so cool. I one second. I mean, I am I the only one who thinks Paul is super cool? No, well, no, I but mean, now I, he's I like. I discovered <laughs> Paul. I discovered Paul. Dude, I brought you Paul. I brought you Paul. <laughs> All right, so Ivan, you sound good. I'll just have right, to yell the whole time, I guess. I'll just have to be real excited. Oh. I'm sure Maddie's mom's going to right. love this. How's it sound? This is fantastic. How's it sound? How am I sounding? <laughs> Do I How sound the same? <laughs> is this the sound of my voice? Everybody sounds good. See? Maybe. In the oh, chat, yeah. they're Weird. saying we That's... sound good, except for I'm quiet. Someone's a little quiet. That's probably me. Why am I quiet? That's such horse shit. I don't know. How, How many? Yeah, when I was, when right I was listening Hi, to the... the when I was listening to the stream, Jesse, you were the quietest. <laughs> Yev says I sound good when I yell, so I guess we'll just have to stick with that. <laughs> yeah, do that. That's fine. So, Hell yeah. How do I increase my microphone pickup? Uh, you can do that in in Discord if you go to your voice and video settings. You can set your input sensitivity. I think those are no, max. Just the same. Now. Is that? Is anybody else? You, that, that, I'm getting that echo off Ivan again. That should not be maxed. Yeah, I'm getting that echo again too. Okay, turn down your headphones. Your input sensitivity should probably not be maxed. Wait, it is it echoing now? Because it was only no. echoing because I had you guys turned up in my headphones. Okay, check, 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 check. Check, 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 check. check, check. check. Still here. A little, little bit. How the fuck are you guys still hearing it? I don't know. It's weird. This is horse shit. Horse, horse shit. shit. Horse <laughs> shit. <laughs> Uh, now I don't hear it. That's, I literally couldn't hear you guys. Weird. Can you guys hear yourselves now? Uh, check, 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 check. Oh. No? I Good. saw it light no. up, too. Damn. How's my oh, yeah, I heard it, I heard it there. Yep. Output. It might be like a short, it might be like a short in your, in your thing. It might be like a little short that's connecting. I don't have a great, big uh, short. A great Johnski. A great Johnski? Great Tadley Wackles. Yeah, my fucking typing comes out great. 
<laughs> I think I'm just gonna uh, mute myself That's over fine. and over again. Does my mic sound any better? Am I coming in any louder at all? Yeah, it's for I, me you are. Do you want me to check on the stream? And I'm getting a lot of echo now, but like over Discord you sound fine. That's cool. That's so much echo. Yeah, I see. I literally am just going to have to mute myself. All right. Maybe switch to push to talk. He's going to forget too. But, yeah. It's, uh, it's easier for me. There's no the echo on the stream. Hold on, real quick. So it's on Discord then that we're getting the echo. Maybe I should just restart. We can deal with it. Yeah. Uh, we can deal with it on Discord. Yeah, you could do it. Okay. Sorry, I was like, I'm not restarting Discord. I'm like, oh wait, I don't have to. <laughs> it is. Can I just say it's really cool? Oh no, I can't because nobody can hear me. No. Oh, you can hear me. Oh my yeah. god. Can I just say it's really cool that we just went to try to do some troubleshooting? And all our sweet loyal fans are helping us. And they didn't. They just. They knew, and they're awesome. And I'm restarting Discord. Cool. Now. Thanks, fans. Sick of these people. I get it. We're ro and we're back, guys. Hey, there, there are only. Fa hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a. Wait you, a could, you could say they're our only fans. <laughs> our only fans. You mean our greatest fans? It looks like it's working better now. Yep. Yeah, I don't hear any echo now. Maybe check, we check, just check, need check. a couple good jokes. It's doing it when know? Ivan does it. Yeah. Uh, fuck Ivan. He's gone. Peace. Boom. Oh. No. But I don't. I don't hear it when I'm doing it anymore. Yeah, it sounds good. Let me check my Discord. No Ender's issues here. Me. I need to check my Discord. Cancellation option. Oh. Ender says it good. sounds good. Oh, I heard it again, though. Yep. I heard it yep. again, too, I have to find these Whoa. things. Hold on. Echo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello. 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 Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I don't know, hey, man. Buddy. I don't know where to find these things either. I'm in sound and I don't see an advanced sound option. I don't know, man. Ender says, turn off echo and then turn on noise suppression in Discord if you can. Right. I can't find those things. Uh, right click on your mic uh, image. I'm in a whole world oh, of Discord no I've never even been to before. Yeah. I, where your name is, there's a little mic and the headphones and mm -hmm. the user settings. If you right click your mute or the the um, mm. mic button, there's a little voice setting uh, sprocket. Okie dokie. And then you click the sprocket and you scroll down <laughs> past uh, noise suppression and echo cancellation. I've got noise suppression on. I've got echo cancellation off. Turn, Turn that one on. Boy on. I don't know, man. This doesn't sound like that's going to work. Let's get a test now. <laughs> I mean, it's not like we want to cancel echoes or anything. It this looks like it's still doing it. Folks. Is it? Yep. Yeah. I spent all day hunting missed echoes. What if I turn my input volume down? That might work. Turn off echo? Sweet. So far, so good. Mm -hmm. Good thing we had a whole half an hour to yeah. troubleshoot. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta. Tr we need to troubleshoot the stream. We need to have like a test stream that we go OBSing to before we start Discord. I can. Do you see what? Uh, yeah. Did you see what Yarbasor just said, Jesse? Yeah, we're getting like a little technical beyond me. What are they getting? If you're getting cut out, I don't know. Is it? Mm, can I get a check from you, Ivan? Yeah, you want me to switch to... You want me to check Discord? Check, 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 check. I think the echo's fixed. Yeah, I don't hear you're it like anymore. You're super quiet, though. But, you're, but you are very quiet. I reduced the shit out of my output volume. Mm -hmm. I can turn... I can turn my own volume up a fair amount yet. You're so. you're fine on the stream, though. Oh, good. Oh, oh hey, just quiet. so... Also, when you get a chance... Mm -hmm. um, maybe uh, crop out... Um, 
Uh, what you call it? Crop out Craig and uh, bring in Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Dang! <laughs> Suck it, Craig. Dang! Craig says, Tell you, bro. Tell me how y'all really feel. Wait, how do I crop Craig out? Oh, almost. Uh, so <laughs> no, almost. Never mind. Uh, so if you hold down the option key, and uh, I think it's it's not option on thing, but right. But even down, if I, uh, I the only thing I could if I like I can bring him out of the box, but it's still like it's going to take you out of our, <laughs> our jump. Oh, no, maybe if you I can click make it on bigger. it. it should sh if you click on it, it'll show a boundary box. <laughs> I'll take that boundary box, and you want okay. You know what? Name it, mother. Oh, no. Close enough. I remember. <laughs> I remember. I think it needs there to be bigger. Go. I got it. I'm figuring it oh out, gosh. guys. You need to calm there it down. Go. All On of you, fly. calm it down. Nice. Is it? Are there only? F oh no, I'm not in there. I should be in there. Why aren't I in there? <laughs> you guys don't. Yeah, you can't yeah. hear me talk anyway, so fuck it, right? <laughs> cool. So, so hey, while we are, I can hear you. Uh, while we're doing, <laughs> while we're doing that, let me show you behind the scenes of what I have going on, so you can all see the mad genius that is my goddamn uh, brain. How so, are you going to do that? So. Um, so here we go. Why aren't um, I coming up? Uh, oh, there I am. That's right. I have to do a live screen. I can't do it. I can't show you guys. I can show you guys. You can share screen to me, and I can put it on the... Uh, that might be no, a little complicated. No, 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 we're <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks, everybody. We really appreciate the help and feedback, and... Yeah, we're just getting a couple things running. Uh, so while we're getting everything set up for a reminder of what happened, um, well, we'll go over. Uh, so we are in a galaxy called Alexis. I know I've brought this up many, many times, and for our loyal listeners, we know that uh, you're familiar. Alexis is a galaxy that is surrounded uh, by a burn. Uh, this burn is slowly all-consuming and slowly destroying this universe bit by bit. It's rolling in on itself. So as people have started moving um, and condensing themselves into the center worlds, there's been a lot of uh, animosity going on. A lot of worlds that used to be outliers are now becoming popular hubs. Uh, moons of uh, different planets are now harbors to... Uh, people who have fled their homes, uh, immigrants from all over the galaxy have now started to condense into the heart world area. Uh, so there are several groups that view this burn differently. There are certain groups that view it as, well, the destruction of this entire universe. Uh, there's people like the Daylight. The Daylight are a cult group who kind of worship the burn and believe that they can hear a god inside this burn turn, telling them what to do. Uh, so there's there's really a, a really interesting uh, connection between the burn and the Daylight that the crew has discovered as uh, they went to investigate and save some hostages from a station near the burn. They ran into the daylight. They fought the daylight, and have uh, since then had a distaste for the, the daylight uh, for quite a time. Okay. Creatures so, of uh, the night. That does it, Nico. So Ozobni is the planet that uh, we are on right now. Ozobni looks a little bit like you see in front of you. Uh, Ozobni is kind of become a casino planet. Uh, it's uh, gotten a lot of power. It used to be just an outskirt planet with nothing but a small kind of processing facility and some places to stay. And since the burn has condensed all the population, it has become a hub of crime. It's become a hub of work. Uh, it's become the home of an organization called the ARC. Uh, the ARC is the organization for um, kind of... Uh, Oh my gosh, I forgot the name for it. Uh, for conservation, they're conserving all the things in this universe. They're going to get seeds. They're going to get species. They're going to go get planets. They've helped people that are stuck in the burn. And so the crew has worked with them and has been doing some really great shit with them. Uh, they went out and they saved a, a platform, a mining platform that had been separated 
they are currently now tracking down some information that they discovered uh, while they were escaping from the daylight back then. Uh, they had accidentally opened a hole into a kind of alternate travel system that seemed to have been buried for millennia. Um, as they were traveling in space, they ripped a hole in space and traveled into this network where they were given a bunch of messages, which they're now just starting to understand and uh, beginning to find the threads of what the messages were that were implanted in their brains. Uh, we will have new episodes up um, when I finish editing them eventually, and you can follow the whole story. But for now, our crew is on a Zobni. Uh, Play the song. We, we had that going on, so are we ready to get started? Hell yeah. All right, cool. All right, so here, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to how to kick flip a horse. Uh, I'm Ari. I will be your GM. With me, as always, is Jesse. Hi. <laughs> That's all. Jesse. It's me. I'm Jesse. I'm playing hey, Horst Octothorpe, the old Ron who breaks off pieces of his body to stab people with them. <laughs> and we have Paul. This is Paul playing Prisoner, a shape-shifting plastic entity. And we have Ivan. I am playing Orovona, an Eno journalist. And last but not least, we've got Tommy. Hi, I'm playing uh, <clears throat> Shen, the uh, Roranon psychic pile of bugs. And I am Ari, and I will be playing everybody else. Welcome to How to Kick Flip a Horse. What is up, you all? I am going to just uh, <laughs> welcome you back. So, uh, what is Whoa. going on with you guys? I want to know what you all kind of remember from our last session, and I will fill in the gaps because there's a lot, a lot of information that you all gathered. And I will, uh, right now, I think we have uh, uh, Doc and uh, Shen and. Uh, or Horst, who are at the docks, and then we had Oravona and Prisoner, who are doing some shady shit over here. Um, yeah. Let's I think we it. are at Wheelspace Sally's. Yes, you are at the um, the alleyway behind Wheelspace Sally's, correct. Doing God knows what. Oh, I think we're probably inside just drinking at this point. Yeah, I, we're definitely having a beer after that. Hell yes. Cool. And uh, I, I'm saying... That, uh, was it Lattice or Saboya that we were just doing the deal with in the alley? That was Nove Ostrin. Yep. Nove Ostra. Uh, that one is a shady MF or, uh, I was about to attack there. Oh, yes, I don't, I don't blame you for that at all. I, I might have done it myself if it hadn't gone a little differently. If he'd have figured it out that it wasn't a real USB drive, I would have, yeah. Thank you yeah, again. Yes. For, thank you again for going with me, prisoner. Absolutely. Yeah, you guys had gotten some information on your last mission. This uh, organization that this hacker works with, uh, he gave you a hard drive to kind of gather some information. Uh, but uh, you, it got switched last minute because there's a little bit of concern about where that information was going. Correct? How did? Well, I feel like I. Uh, I feel like Oravona just kind of. Uh, swapped him out on like an instinct more than anything. Like uh, making contact with Nove Ostrin was 
convenient at the time. Like it, it gave us the the pointer to that mining platform, and then. But like, I, f- I feel like Oravona always kind of knew that this guy was sketchy, so that was that was the origin of the of the double cross. Like it was like we didn't know that the Order of Heroes was basically the same as uh, the Daylight Cult. Well, until we so until we got back, well, yeah, not not the same, the same, just but, yes, similar enough. Guilty of the same, uh, pretty bad crimes. Red flags are plenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the Order of Heroes has uh, been doing some shady shit that you discovered. Um, not hundred percent sure what it's all about, um. But uh, yeah, that's the information you got. He uh, sold you some information as well, correct? And he sold us a lot of fucking, well, not a lot, but a lot of expensive information. Yeah, <laughs> that was, uh, that's kind of their game, which I'm surprised you didn't whoop their ass right then and there, to be honest. Well, there's, I, I feel my health is more important than my money. It's also not too late to rob them. Right, we're absolutely going to work with these guys again and rip them off even harder than last time. Like we gotta, we gotta figure out the way to leverage the uh, plasma geists against them. It's a long con. Exactly. This wheels- see, this is why I like you, Doc. You know, you understand. You see the long view, the big picture. The uh, band begins playing at Wheel Space Sally's. This Hell is yes. Uh, oh yes, this is my fucking jam. <laughs> All, all, all one hundred thousand bugs pair up, and just <laughs> yeah, I'm hitting five hundred thousand bugs. Wild dosey do. I'll run. Uh, I'll run. Horst is a bit uh, intoxicated and is about to cut a fucking rug. And I think he does the thing where he throws a fishing rod at Oro and winds her in. Oh shit! I've been caught in some type of a uh, rope-based. Trap! Oh, now I'm being made to dance with my friend. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> uh, chat, chat. Uh, I, I like as I'm as he like does the reel in. I like just unceremoniously scoop two full drinks off of a table I pass, <laughs> and just grab them and I I give one to Horst. I'm like, uh, my friend Trevan. How are you? You seem in much better spirits since we re- returned to Ozobni. I love you, but fuck you. <laughs> but I love you. Don't you don't have to use my own accent back at me. That's not cool. This is That's what happens cool. when I'm drunk. I talk in <laughs> ways. Mm-hmm. You're like my father ordering at the Mexican restaurant. <laughs> hey, you sell tacos here? I, I, bet you, I bet you any money they do. You want some tacos, man? Always. Fish tacos. Oh hell yes! Fuck let's let's do that. Tacos. Space hey, tacos. You, you reeled me in, and now I will reel us in some tacos. Maybe <laughs> with fish. Maybe who knows what's in them. Excellent. We'll find out. <laughs> Ari, I don't think the <laughs> hey, stream can hear way... the music. The stream oh, can't really? hear the music. They cannot hear the music. Oh. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um, I can turn it up a little louder. The patrons of the bar demand more cowbell. Can they hear it now? Is it a quiet issue or just no music issue? It's they're saying better. They say better. Yeah, because it's coming through the same channel as my my microphone, so it's got to be a quiet issue because it's the same stream on my end. All right, cool. Um, all right, so as you are uh, approaching the bar. Uh, you uh, order some fish tacos, but it's not really fish tacos. I'm guessing they're like, uh, you know, some other type of species of food. Uh, but I will be happy with uh, that. All tacos. As you, Orvona, go ahead and give me a quick perception check. Uh, Ooh. You've had a couple of drinks, so make it a difficulty of three, please. All right. Uh, While well, that's happening, you're actually she, here it is. Fish tacos spelled F I C H E, and that is the chef uh, that makes the tacos behind the bar. It's spelled G H O T T I. Uh, Perception check, you said, Ari? Yes, please. Uh, Complexity three. three. Yep. 
Awesome. The pass, uh, baby. So, hey, baby. So you turn around. Can we see the pass in the, uh, in the stream this time? Right now. There it goes. <laughs> oh, I have to have the window Okay, cool. For it to, like, okay. There so it it's there. I see it. Uh, so yeah, so as you, uh, after you make your order, you turn around, and there in front of you is Max. Do you remember Max? Max or Mac? Mac, 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 Mac. sorry, Mac. Yeah, Mac yeah, is Mac, standing uh, right behind Mac you. Talk. Yeah, 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 hey, what up? Yeah, he does not look happy, and he walks over to you, and he, uh, totally just swings at you. He just Whoa, walks right up to you, what? and he swings at you. Uh, what do you do? Can I react? I am going to try to... Uh, can I use stealth to dodge him? Uh, I would say no, because he's definitely... He's seen you, so... <laughs> stealth is okay, a good Okay, could I use... What about, like, uh, streetwise or athletics? I mean, you can use any of those if you can, you know... Streetwise, uh, well, I mean, I don't know if streetwise would work. You I feel like this, I mean, this probably isn't the first time someone has attempted to sucker punch me. That's true, but, uh, that would be more what? The, uh, the other one. Streetwise Skull is like the information oh, from, like, the buggery. streets. Yeah, yeah. Skull okay. Buggery, I would say, because you could, like, pick up some drinks and throw them at him before he hits you, or, you know, <laughs> just, like, shady. step backwards and dump the whole tray on him. <laughs> Yeah, something like that. Alright, I'll give that a shot. Skullduggery, complexity... Uh, just give, I'll give you complexity too. Like you said, you're you're used to this. And you saw him coming, so you had a little bit of a, of a bonus. Alright. Service already. Hey, oh. hell yeah. <laughs> hey, Mac, right. chill, man. So yeah, as he comes in, tell him, he takes a swing for you. What do you do? I dump the. I upturn all the drinks I'm holding on him. <laughs> so he comes in for a swing, and I just yell, "Not cool! Not cool! Not cool!" Uh, he kind of gets gets hit with this thing. It kind of wakes him up. He's like, "You, you were supposed to save my brother. What? Not fucking shoot him." What are you talking about? Yeah, on the daylight station. I told you my brother was on that station. And you were going to go take care of him and go see if you could find him. And you ended up shooting him on your ship. Wait, and now got... he's in custody. Oh, well... Come on, we did an interview with him. You did an interview with him? Yeah, he... You're talking about Taylor? Yeah, he did... No, yeah, the guy... No, I'm talking about the uh, guy that got... That you shot on the ship. Happened to be his brother. The, Wait, the guy thought... that you thought was an imposter? Yeah, the guy, the imposter that you shot on the ship ended up was actually his brother. You did that... Talon and the... Go ahead, I'm sorry. Talon was another gen another guy that was uh, helping you guys out. The uh, the, the imposters yeah, I thought, on I the thought... ship. I have, in, I have very clearly in my notes and in my article <laughs> that Talon is Mac's brother. Uh, mm, let's see. I do not have. Uh, Talon is. Kithuk. Damn it. Uh, yeah, Talon is correct. That's Talon. Because yeah, that was a prisoner looks like a Kithuk yeah, because like of Talon and Mac right now. He's a metal big bug because those were his friends on the on the ship. Yeah, and we yep. made a we made a specific effort to identify and get Kalon safely out of there, and no. that is specifically like that is one of the big sources of the article that I wrote. Like I have I have quotes from Talon from the trip on the ship. So Max no, under no. some sort of mind control. No, so, so, there, there was, so there was a confusion then because uh, you definitely did awesome. uh, shoot his brother, but I guess I I let that one slip. So he's uh -oh. like, wait, so then, so so uh, I mean, I'm not sure. I I just heard that that's where he was. Have you seen him? I heard that when he got back, he no, it that you shot then. I it was some blue robe, or no, it was okay. uh, it was a yellow robe or something. I think. 
All it right, definitely well, it definitely was not Daylon. I um, was told. I, my information if, was told if that I, you shot him. If I had shot him, buddy, you would have been the first one that I told, and I would have been. I would have healed him in Mother Egg's own medical pods, my friend. Come on. Who do you think? All right. I am? Well, I think I'm just some some dirty dog, some some Giverian. Okay. Well, I'm a, I'm a little concerned here. I I don't know. I get, I'm guessing I get a mixed signals, um, and you know, uh, I I. You've written an article. I, I haven't seen that yet. It hasn't been published. Oh, so how am I supposed to no, know? No, we got it up on the. Uh, you know how the. Uh, you know how the uh, daylight was using the their little satellites to broadcast that that very very silly video of all of us. Yes, yes, I recall. Yes, I we recall. had uh, we had a good buddy of ours. Uh, let's say supplant it and uh, broadcast an article and a series of uh, photo essays that I had composed okay. to uh, well, discredit the Daylight Cult. I am so sorry for your... for your. Uh, I don't know well, what's going for on your, anymore. I'm just... For your moisture more than anything. I'm sorry I dumped all yes, those tears means... on you, but I'm also sorry no, that I'm someone sorry, told sorry, you sorry, that I, I shot your brother. That's crazy. I'm, I'm sorry I swung at you. I really do apologize. I, I mean, I, 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 I would was... have swung at me too if I thought I had shot your brother. Yeah, so I don't know. He was supposed to be meeting with some folks. He said he was going to be getting a new job. He said that something was going to be happening. And, you know, I got the message before he arrived, but he hasn't shown up yet. And so I'm a little bit concerned about, like, uh, where he might be. So if you... Uh, if you hear you know anything, what, do you know what job he was supposed to have had? Uh, I know he was going to go to the the security guild. He said he was going to be doing some work with them. Uh, I checked with them; they never showed up. But you know what? Uh, I'll, I'm going to do a little bit more digging in, and uh, I, I do really apologize. Please let me let me buy you another round of drinks because you know uh, that, un that unnecessary. Great. Unnecessary, Mac. I dumped the drinks on you. Let me buy you a drink, and you have done right by me for your quotes in my articles. And I, I need to right this wrong for sure. Uh, even though it it was not me who shot and or seemingly kidnapped your brother. Are, are any of us noticing right. this? Yeah, by this I think there was a big commotion. The the when the drinks <laughs> kind of spilled, I'm sure like people were kind of like taken aback and looking Table for it. I think that yeah, I think Horst would have aggressively <laughs> asserted himself into this situation after realizing Aura had been gone for a bit. Uh, oh uh, hey hey Horst, right? How's it going, bud? Misunderstanding here. Misunderstanding. I, this is also prisoners up there like, Mac, you made it out. I, I wasn't sure what happened to you. You were, I, you were I, trying to escape I, last time I saw too. you. I, oh my gosh, I didn't recognize you. You look, you look different. No, I, I know there's just, there's just so much going on nowadays and it's, it feels like things are picking up and people are disappearing. Uh, it's, it's, it's all over again. I mean, it, it's like the daylight, but they're, I don't see why they would do it again. He was it just doesn't make any sense to me. I I know he was supposed to get a job and I know I know it was kind of shady. I'm going to be honest because I'm not sure he does the kind of work that like you know you just give it and he was talking about all this money and he sent these messages but I don't know. There's only a, you know well, a wait, well, uh, Mac 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 slow down buddy. I need a, I need I need 1 minute. What messages are you talking about? Well, I mean, he sent me some messages. You you all rescued him from the station, correct? Yes. Yeah. And and after he arrived, uh, he had said he had lined up some really important jobs, and uh, that he was going to uh, be working with, um, you know, a the uh, the security guild. He said security. that there was some openings. The uh, the over guild, yes. 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 Uh, I'm familiar. Uh, go ahead and roll a quick knowledge check, and I'll tell you how familiar you are with this guild. Oh, I was just going to look it up in the compendium, but that makes more sense because it's a game. May I also <laughs> roll one since I'm in this conversation? Oh, yeah, shit. Did I just to. totally Anybody leave the... Wants to roll. Oh, no, I didn't. I, I, I just left. I would have chimed in, like, mm, if I... Did we, did we see this happen? Yeah, I'm going to say that you all saw the... Um, 
the kind of confrontation happened. You all are drinking, dancing, having fun, and all of a sudden you see this this kathuk come over, and you just hear, you know, <laughs> a drink trade crashing on the ground, <laughs> and you see and you see this guy uh, just soaping, sock, sopping wet, and uh, but I, I, yeah, I would say that's what you see. So you know, if you want to react, this is a good time to react. I well, think oh, my the, secu the security guild. I know them. Yes, so but tell uh, me about them anyway. You know the Central Guild, the Overguild. They control, you know, uh, right, private Central. industry. They, you know, most of the the government uses them. You know, they're the private police. They keep order. They work for the rich. Very hush hush on what they do. A lot of secret organizations that that kind of hire them. Honestly, they've just kind of become gun for hire. But you know, I. I don't know. I, he said he was going to get sent off. He said he was going to come home before he got sent off on this mission. I just don't have any information. The Central Guild, of course, is being super quiet, and that's why they said that uh, they'd heard that uh, they had somebody in custody, that he was shot by the crew. I heard you guys had just come back in, and so as I put oh, things no, together... No. Mac, I'm so sorry for your for your hardship. That was, that was some other asshole that we shot. It oh, was not God, your brother. I am... I am so sorry, guys. I really feel like. Oh I'm no, it here. is fine. If you have not, if you have not heard from Talon, though, we will, we will gladly look into the Central Guild. Yeah, I think, uh, I think that would be something pretty good to do. I, I, I definitely appreciate it. Thank you, thank you very, very much. Of course. Uh, look, uh, if you guys away. ever, um, if you guys ever, uh, you know, need anything, any way that I can help, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm just a. Uh, you know, spice of the earth kind of guy. But uh, if you need anything, you know, you you guys reach out. I know. Uh, I'm sorry. And he kind of leaves, kind of looking super duper embarrassed um, as he continues uh, his walk. Yeah, no worries. Okay, see you later, buddy. Hmm. Miss you. <laughs> that was. Uh, yeah. Well, so guys, do you think his brother got kidnapped? Well. It's very possible on Sabni. Yes, I've I done work with uh, some shady folks that, that have worked with the uh, uh, Gelden Guild before. I mean, it seems like something they could do. Since the outside the wheelhouse. Sally. <laughs> <laughs> should, should uh, you know, I know we're in the middle of uh, like a dinner and uh, drinks type of situation here at the old uh, wheel space sallies but uh, should we perhaps uh, pool our knowledge together and uh, create perhaps a, a checklist of uh, like available leads see what our pressing issues are at the moment I know we all kind of have a fair number of uh, pies in the iron or no that's not how the saying goes. Pies in the fire. That's it. All right, yeah. I can give you a couple of reminders of some things that you guys have going on because I've thrown a lot. Well, so of I have, a, I have a fairly, I, I feel like I have oh, a fairly, no. fairly good list, but I would like oh, to, my, my I would like to, uh, I would like to supplement that with the concerns of my, my crew. <clears throat> well, it would be a shame to have his brother make it this far only to be kidnapped. That is very true. I always thought that Talon was the more promising of the two. Also, it would not do bode well to the legitimacy of your article if your main person... Also true. I, I thought they were going to get into a restaurant business, maybe, or a bakery. They said their parents were bakers. Now I find out he's joining a private security guild. It's crazy. Might as well just join the fucking war criminals club. <laughs> with Tay Taylon and Mac were you know, I don't want to say my friends but I was close enough with them while we were on uh, in the guild uh, uh, together yeah. and uh, I mean I didn't know that it was Mac that basically got me rescued so I feel like I owe it to him as it was now like you know how I eventually escaped that you know that cult uh, anywhere that helps me look for the Sibuya place <laughs> sure maybe uh okay so maybe let's maybe 
just humor me, my friends. Let's do this list. Let's put Siboya top of the list. I'm gonna just grab like a napkin and a, a pen off of like from from the bar. <laughs> uh, so top of the list, Siboya. Uh, who or what or where is it? Yes, this sound like an accurate summary of this quest <laughs> heading. Yes. <laughs> It gives us a lot of wiggle room to get something. (laughs) Yes, we do. I mean, I agree. It is a... It is an important point to do some research about, but it may be like a uh, like a a a broader a broader thing that we do discover while we do other things, maybe. I don't know. Oh, I have it spelled S-E-B B O Y A, but that's okay too. <laughs> Same, but S A B. Shibuya. Okay, Shibuya. That's your boy. It's your boy. Okay, Shibuya. Oh. Who or what or where is it? Uh, let's number two. Please Maybe. draw a little oh. snake. How did my? That was wild. My text in my text document just completely shrunk to almost zero. That was wild. And I even spelled it wrong, too. Ha 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 ha. Okay, number two on the list on the napkin here. Uh, we put Talon. Uh, involved. Nope, that's not how you spell that. Involved with Senchal Guild. That would be a good place to start. Uh, see if they have any uh, evidence of him with a recruitment or whatever. Uh, third, we have what else do we have going on? We have the Order of Heroes that we have. Uh, we have info that they are attacking Ardon, or not? Mm-hmm. Maybe not attacking, but doing up to no good there. Um, we know that. Uh, let's see, Tildemir is still alive somewhere out there, but we haven't really heard any, uh, hide nor hair of, uh, the daylight since we've been back. So maybe number three we do, uh, maybe number, number three we do, uh, Ardon. Ardon is the heading, uh, and then subheading attacked by Order of Heroes? Question mark. So where do we, where do we begin, my friends? Well, I mean, there was also that thing where, uh, I mean, it's it sounds super shady, but we were asked to look for that like fox thing that can phase through oh, metal walls. Oh yeah. Excellent. Thank you, prisoner. Thank you, prisoner. Uh, wow. So that was... it sounded like it might be useful for some uh, well, kind of jobs. Sounds like somebody Ask started taking to notes. Find a blip. Somebody yes. started taking notes. And that was for twenty thousand argent, if I if I remember correctly. And that's why yep. prisoner remembers. There was a number yeah. associated with it. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> we have needed we have needed you on our team, I believe. Okay, so Siboya, Talon, Ardon, Nove Ostrim. Um I also wait. Was there another thing? Does anyone else have anything to add to the list? Uh, yeah, you guys do have some more stuff. Um, Ark also had some uh, information for you guys um, to follow up on for the MI. I think that was oh, right, on. MI. Yeah, so you guys got a lot of stuff going on. You guys yeah. have to a lot of stuff. So you've got the MI, and then um, you've got uh, stuff with the ARC. I'll just put that. Oh, ARC, the ARC was... Oh, no, we got we to gotta talk to Latus about uh, the MI, right? He was the one that was doing... Or no, it was Nova Ostrin doing research on the, on the MI anomaly for us. That was why he uh, took so much money from me, right? No, it was Lawala who said that she would look into right. some MI stuff as you started talking about it on the ship. Uh, you uh, left a couple of things open with uh, Nove. You have him looking into the MI stuff kind of as a secondary thing. Yeah. Um, and he also had mentioned that there's information about Saboya uh, that you can find. Oh, right. Uh, 
so yeah, so for Saboya, you found out that there's uh, the Glean uh, have actually, he heard the word mentioned in Glean kind of uh, ancient scriptures um, in a book that is called Wasnamet. I have hmm. written that the Glean, that Saboya gave the Glean uh, the diamond? Um, <laughs> no. So, um, <laughs> oh, all right. So, uh, oh, I know what you're talking about. I know what you kind of meant to write. What What is that yeah. that you meant to write? I'd love to. I will tell you in a second. Second. He's talking about the Glean's phylacteries. Yep, exactly. So the Glean in the uh, center of their head, they have this kind of shiny gem. Uh, so the the history of the Glean says that an ancient creature uh, of ancient times traveled from Saboya and gave them uh, extended life. They used to die very early on. Oh, and right. Because, yes. because of this, uh, as was written in their scriptures, uh, the place that these people came from, the ancients in their books, are um, had fared from Saboya. Um, so that's how you discovered Saboya was not a place, or not a person, but an actual place. Um, so you had left um, information to go and talk to uh, them some more, um, and you kind of spread it about town. So uh, there's a couple of people that you informed about that, including um, uh, Nove, who, um, who also now knows that you guys are looking into this. Um, and the he also kind of laughed at me when I asked him about it. Yeah, yeah, he was definitely not comfortable with you asking about that, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Man, we should have beat that guy's ass. Yeah. Kind of a jerk. Um, kind of, also, totally I'm, a jerk. I'm waiting to hear back but uh, about some roar name from uh, that very same clean. Yep. Oh, right. Yeah, you had you had Luwala looking for roar name stuff for you, huh? Luwala? Yeah, but uh, on this list, I mean, I guess like MI stuff would still be like MI stuff does seem pretty pressing. Like because like without a ship, man, you know, like I imagine like it would always kind of take priority, even if like because it just unlocks. The more we like have, the more secure your travels are, the better. Agreed. And hearing that kind of conversation prisoner like is reflecting back to how much the ship was just made that it made out of toothpaste <laughs> and it was like i don't oh, think so you guys good. are like we need to get some money here it is ship toothpaste all right <laughs> that was I quality you stuff do you want to do some you are you suggest prisoner are you suggesting like uh wrangling the blip yeah i mm. i'm not opposed to that uh i I'm curious to see the species, let alone... Uh, they are so somebody. cute. Oh, I just forgot yeah. what the blip are. They're little furry, multi-tailed blue guys. Mm -hmm. They can yep. phase Not through tails. metal. They can keep well, that part. Which is also why Prisoner is interested in them, because, like, maybe we should just keep one. Right. You know? Not a bad idea. Do you think they could phase through Roach's stomach? <laughs> Suddenly be hungry again. Well, I actually have yeah, a there little is. I There's that little kitty. Trouble. And eating it. Not really, uh... I mean, he's not metal. Yeah. Not, uh... I'm a uh, non-organic kind of guy. Not metal, <laughs> like... I was like, I, like, instead of being vegan where you don't consume organic <laughs> material, you're like, I'm sorry, I don't do that. Right, like it's a I level only. level five vegan. Yeah, that's top tier. <laughs> level five vegan. <laughs> I don't need anything with a shadow. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It isn't know. metal. No face, no taste. <laughs> I only eat monoliths found in the desert. <laughs> so Is that why it's gone? That's so crazy. Yes. <laughs> now we know the real story. Yeah. Tommy was in Utah recently. <laughs> <laughs> I've said too much. Bummer. But I'm uh, all about the boom blip. 
Sure, maybe we do. Uh, maybe we do some uh, hit the streets uh, research. Find out if anyone has any leads on some blips while we uh, wait for Nove Ostrin and uh, our ARC contacts to get back to us about, with uh, the information about the other things that we have asked them about. Yeah. Um, I mean, I believe that's a, you, a, a, you know, and about this uh, kidnap, are we going to, we're tabling that? Yeah, well... So yeah, out, out of character. I mean, those those are the two things that I'd say like prisoners interested in, and also not like he's not afraid to be shot down here. It's just kind of like the gun for hire here. So it's like don't let that be the super deciding. Like he, he would no. heed to a captain saying, "Hey, we're doing this instead." Oh, out, out, out of character though. I I very much want to see what's up with this this blip. Uh, yeah. But also, I feel bad for this dude. You know, coming in here, yeah, making himself yeah. like a fool. I mean, um, I, I said in the the previous, like, intro of, like, that we were friends on the ship, so that would also be a big motivation to, like, go do that storyline. Well, if you... Yeah, we'll if do it in you, character, guys. Yeah, please, I was going to say. <laughs> this is all good, this is all good that, character Yeah, stuff. I was going to... We can... Sorry. Yeah, let's jump back into it. Um, <clears throat> uh, I'll turn to a prisoner and uh, maybe just kind of feel in his face be like, what is it? I mean, I I know we need uh, something. We need a uh, we need money. I think we need to fix this ship up if we're gonna keep doing anything here. But uh, I mean, Mac and Talon, I knew them. I mean, Talon and I spent quite a bit of time after Mac escaped. I know he was uh, more into the cult than I was, but I could tell there was still you know good in his heart. And I, I'm not surprised that Mac sent people after him, you know, to to get him out and. I just I don't like that he's suddenly missing again after all the effort you went through that got me free that now he's gone again. It does seem interesting that after all this turmoil he finds himself back in the fire. Like a pie, was it, Orvon? <laughs> yes. You know you know how you have a how sometimes if you fuck a pie up really bad it you no. say you you say you dropped the pie in the fire. Oh, I've never made a pie. Oh, well, that makes perfect sense that you would not know the idiom, because mainly it is an Inno idiom, and also you only eat metal. Who are you calling an idiom? (laughs) (laughs) No, 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 that's not even what that is. Uh, Someday I will make you a molten metal pie. Somehow. That sounds nice. Have you ever had fresh mantle? Like right out of the ocean. Oh, the salt is delicious. Um, so I'll go ahead and let you guys know some of the contacts you could probably reach out to, of course, are Ark. Uh, you do have um, the Glean Scientist who you talk to. Uh, you also uh, talk to um, some people from the Overguild that you had some connections with, uh, the Egan Overguild. Uh, you had made hey. some contacts with. Of course, you've got uh, Nove uh, as well. And, um, yep, so you've got those contacts um, as people that you can reach out to, also. But, uh, yeah, what do you guys want to do? Uh, I'd like to talk to Ark about the MI stuff. Uh, maybe, maybe Horst will get in touch with them for that. Um, yeah, and then... Uh, also would like to uh, wait for Nove Ostrin to get back to us with whatever he finds out about the MI stuff. Uh, and then maybe ask both of them about the Senchal Guild and Saboya. And then uh, I would like to do some independent research about Ardon just to like find out what kind of planet it is. Um, Ardone, yes. Uh, let's see. I can tell you all about Ardone. I was going to say... Oh, yeah, uh, you're from the, there. Yep. So, yeah, um, that is where uh, Prisoner's from. He is from the planet Ardone. That's why I was curious what you were... What is it like? Nice Cindy beaches? It's got lots of plasma. Oh! Right, that makes sense why the Order of Heroes would be there. And probably why 
I mean, why lots of people would be there, right? Yeah, um, I mean, it's uh, rich any, with uh, plasma. You got any? I mean, I know you were involved with the uh, daylight, I've, but you you got any any buds on our drone? Anyone that we can like? Uh, I don't want to be any anywhere near Ardone. Oh, well, why not? I, yeah, I mean, I don't want to press you on it, but no, why? Press, press. Y you saw what the uh, you saw what the Order of Heroes was doing on that uh, that mining platform, turning people into plasma geists. I saw what the Order of Hero was doing on Honor Dome too, and I didn't like that being back there for them, and I don't like talking about it. Well, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. I, I'm. I'm not. I am not willing to press this with you any further, my friend. You have done solid by me, and I. I owe you your boundaries. Thank you. Uh, anyway, let's call, let's uh, call up uh, Lawala, see what she's got to say about the MI, and uh, see what she's got to say about the Senchal Guild. All right. Who would be um, for the over lore or the over over guild? The over over, over guild. guild. Who, who would be our best link to? Like, who, what's our link to the over guild? Like, to get info. Um, okay, so uh, you all. Um... Oh my gosh, it's cleared up. Give me a second. My bad. Uh, you when you all no 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 when you all arrived um, on Zabni uh, mm -hmm. for the beginning of this mission, uh, you all uh, were greeted as you left the uh, Wheel Space Sallies for the first time uh, by a gentleman being attacked. Uh, if you recall, uh, that gentleman um, was named that was Cree. 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 Cree Martalis. Kree Marthalis um, is the head of, or one of the heads of the Egan Overguild. Uh, the Overguilds, like I said, they pretty much are like mafia families is the best way to describe them because they don't like have any kind of... Families. <laughs> yes, There's, but in space. Right. But in space. And so <laughs> they, they, uh, they each kind of handle their own kind of deal. They... Uh, they have kind of uh, broken off and kind of focus on their own sections, and they don't really uh, intermingle very much. Uh, they do work together from time to time, but there's no strict, like, you know, it's not like a government entity. They don't have any reason to help each other out unless they, they really want to. So um, right. so there's basically five overguilds. Um, and uh, there's the Central Overguild, the Egan Overguild, and the Egan pretty much handles the medicine and health in Alexis. Uh, and you guys do have a good in there through Cree. Uh, so that is uh, your like Overguild connection at the moment. Uh, so yeah, so let's uh, let's call up Cree and uh, see what he's willing to tell us about. Uh about the Senchal Guild, uh, if anything, see if he's got any, uh, see if he's got any stuff on it. Um, I've got a couple of good, like, I guess you would call them interview type questions. I've got an ability called Social Control, which lets me spend a Nova Point to reduce one NPC's mental and social scores to two for the next ten minutes. Like all the way to two, no matter what, or by two. Yep. Or, all. Yep. Two two, not by two. Got it. That's awesome. Um, yes. Damn. Uh, I also have a couple of other pretty buck wild ones. I got one on my last level or my last uh, story beat called uh, Demagogue, uh, which says reduce complexity of skill rolls made to lie by two. Mm. So if I were to use that on, like, obviously it's silly to use that on a skill check that you call for just a two complexity on, but if I were to be like, I want to use that right now, would that just be an auto success? Say it one more time, I want to hear the word. Reduce complexity of skill rolls made to lie by two. 
I don't know. Um, I mean, I think the difficulties of stuff has definitely been increasing. So there may be like a fantastical lie that you might tell that's difficulty of four. But I guess if you do tell something that's like a super easy lie, yeah, then you would reduce it by. Right. If I'm just like, oh, no, I I forgot my parking pass. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, oh yeah, like, yeah that's yeah. it too. Like, yeah, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna nail that one because I have too many Nova points. <laughs> that's actually not true, but um, I just like the idea of you like telling a uh, increasingly wild story and like, <laughs> like cruising through the first two ones, and you're like, yeah, yeah, and then we were in the space, day. but then like, then you're like, yeah, but then like the space crab came and killed everyone, and like, okay, that's when you want to drop it. Here's where it gets. Yes, yeah. this one you won't believe it, but trust me, you will believe it. <laughs> okay. Um. Paul, are you still missing audio? No, I'm. I'm back. Prisoner was in the bathroom for the last minute or something. Missed uh, uh, whatever was happening there. Exposition. Groovy. Yes. Um, I was gonna ask. I I, I put this in the Discord. To, uh. What is everyone's out time? Oh, that's I'm good. Forever? <laughs> For, uh, yeah, well, we're playing all fucking night then, baby. In, in I've definitely. got an 8.30 a.m. meeting. <laughs> yeah, I've got a 8.30 a.m. meeting as well. Uh, I don't know, 10.30? I was just asking if our if our out time was at 10, and I'll 10 push 30. through. But it's if it's later than that, I was going to say do a fiver. Yeah, because we're going to do until 10.30. Yeah, let's do Okay, if we're going until 10.30, 10 let's do a 5. Yep. Okay, five. All right. Back in Give 5. Me. Give me two guys. Bye. Bye.
Beep bop boop beep. Anybody here? Yo yo. Yo. How's my mic picking up? Can you hear me alright? Uh, at least on the Discord it sounds great. Cool. Fucking Christ, cat! Man, I want us to play on a day where I don't have to work before, because I feel like sometimes I'm just fucking exhausted. What is this? Yeah, it's it can definitely be a drag. Hey, Paul, can you hear me? Thank you for the check. I can hear you, too. Well, that's good. Stay out of it. That's cool. I've been having really, like, weird internet issues just for the last, like, month. Yeah. We get them, but they all seem to happen in the daytime when my uh, roommate is at work. I worked from home all of 2019. Uh-huh. My wife, too, and, I mean, even through, the, like, so that was fine. No issues really ever on Kohl's. And then uh, through the first, like, six months of quarantine, really never any issues. And I guess in the last two months, it's really, it's just been, like, just really random. Like, where I've been trying to figure out what everything was, like, sure it was something on my computer. And then it's, like, at the end of the day, like, like talking to my wife in the next room, like, man, I was really having trouble with my one o'clock call. Oh, yeah, me too. I couldn't get on the internet. Like, oh. <laughs> I hmm, should have crowdsourced this one sooner. Yeah, the, the problem's coming from inside the house. <laughs> <laughs> There's no Wi-Fi in the house. Um, yeah, that's always a... I, I mean, is it, like, throttled? Like, the is it... Do you think, like... No, uh, I mean, I actually... I did see that Comcast is going yep. to start charging hey, overages... Buddy. In DC, yeah, but, and so I looked, and we're nowhere near those levels. Right. Oh no, no. To, I was actually looking in it too because I'm in that that range. Um, it's like the it's like the eastern seaboard for the most part. Yeah. Um. So um, 
it's like a terabyte. I think you have to like one point two. Yeah, one God one point two. Yeah, I mean it's How a lot. But do that. It, it doesn't matter. The I, fact used is, do, I used it, to do quite a bit, but not that much. Jeez. Yeah, I mean it's it's really it's gonna hit like I imagine some sort of you know small business or something like right. something, but it's like I don't know. It seems fucked up. It doesn't seem yep. like a cool thing to do. I think the yeah. internet should be a right. So yeah, I agree. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, was made for porn. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you. For and I need my four K. <laughs> Uh, holographic <laughs> porn. God damn it. It's my right. I need my space porn. <laughs> <laughs> my space porn. Yeah, Slab hub. I, I can't be buying USBs of porn at Wheel Space Sally's every other day. <laughs> right. Just put it on the porn jukebox. <laughs> It's yeah, the future. No there. one's. No one has any hang-ups. <laughs> no Everybody's the hang-up. They're gone. But... It's messy. It's like, that, it's like that episode of uh, Broad City where they're in the uh, coffee shop and uh, Alana's trying to show Abby the video of her boss jerking off on the internet, and she's like, first of all, I'm not watching porn in the coffee shop with you." And she's like, <laughs> "Literally, everyone in here is watching porn." And it like pans over, and yeah. all the all the screens are pixelated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she's like, "Oh, gross." Yeah, uh, I saw that was, that was a good scene. Uh, that show ruled, and uh, it also knew when to stop, which is also always cool with the show. Oh yeah. man, I love that because nobody fucking does that anymore. Yeah, and they're just like, okay. Yeah, you know, the the show is over. Bye. All right, friends. Okay. Let's do it. Hello. Back to space. Yep. Here we go. Uh, just do so. Okay, so we are still with space Sally's, correct? Up in the we're Sally. We're spacing. We're Sally. Yeah. Where's the prisoner's Sally? got some uh, toilet paper on his shoe as he uh, just came back from the bathroom. And noise, noise. Uh, all right. So, what's the plan for you guys? What are you doing? Um. So we're gonna bypass Blip, and you know, follow up on this missing dude or bug. Uh. Right. Because it's still that's the right we're thing to for do. Talent. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I, I'm down. I agree I with Doc. Pressing. I think that's the most pressing issue at hand. And, you know, it, it, every time we've made an alliance with someone, or we've, we, the, the bonds that we make have only strengthened our causes. You know, it's, they've only helped us. So this could only be... Indeed, this, it, could, it, this could pan out. It might not hurt to have uh, some, some contacts inside the security over guild. I can hear Friends in low places, you know. Mm. I guess well, so. where do we begin? Uh, there's the guild headquarters. Uh, it's probably a good place to begin. Uh, you've got. What Why do don't we do? try the guild headquarters, guys? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I feel like we've done some work. For, we've done some, you know, freelance stuff for some uh, people affiliated with the guild in the past. Oh, so they have like a personnel file on you already? Yeah, where did uh, that get you? Buddy? I think this was off the books type of stuff. Oh, Is interesting. There... I think maybe we talk to maybe we talk to Cree first. You know what we could do? We could talk to his brother because he's right here. Ah! <laughs> well, he he tried to he tried to sucker punch me. He clearly doesn't know what's really going on. He thought we shot the guy. Yeah, he's lucky and I I'll... didn't get to him faster either. No. I'm sorry, shanking him. I'm right, so I already, you are I've eaten him. So you guys want to reach out to Cree? He's made a uh, send a message or something like yeah. that. Yeah, I think that sounds good. I probably just him on the call ground. him up. I think. Yeah. Hey, uh, hey, what's going on? Long time no here. Hey, Cree, we've, uh, you know, it's been like a week or whatever. No, probably longer like than that, months, actually. But... Yeah, three months. Okay, cool. <laughs> Sorry, time is uh, <laughs> weird in space, yeah, time's anyways. A con time's a construct. No, it's a joke, I like to say. Yeah, hell, what's going on? No, you're not wrong. So, we have a buddy whose brother may be missing... Uh, I was wondering if you had any information for us about the Senchal Overguild. Uh, yeah, well, uh, I mean, 
as just as much as everybody else knows, they uh, they kind of handle all the uh, security around here. They kind of keep us uh, safe and keep the planet safe and keep the system safe. And, uh, you know, uh, as long as we don't ask a lot of questions and we don't get really involved, I know that from time to time we've we've uh, needed them to help secure uh, some things for us. But uh, what exactly uh, what exactly do you need to know about them? Well, we're trying to get into, into contact with a uh, a new recruit, and I'm wondering how uh, how permeable that uh, wall of contact potentiality may be. Uh, well, I mean, I tell you what, I can uh, I might be able to get you a meeting. Uh, you you all definitely saved my life. I I definitely owe you that. I can I can get you in touch with their. Uh, they're a chief of operations. Um, I could get you in touch with Eva, uh, but uh, more than that, that I can't great. promise you. That, that would like be I said, they're, they're super It's an excellent secretive. place to stop. To start, I mean. Oh, I thought you were saying you wanted me to stop talking. I'm sorry. No, I, no, no. Time no, to go no. on. For, oh, okay. The, no, where is, a, I let, let me. You finish? How now? How what you was now? Eva's title? <laughs> did you just say? Good news. <laughs> <laughs> um okay yeah i will uh th i'm gonna go ahead and put uh put it in contact uh what's eva doing let me again? just give you some what's that? say what what did you just say that eva does oh I, I, you guys got me on speaker sorry i can't hear you in the bar it's really loud <laughs> yeah this music uh, is fucking banging yeah, uh, do you want me to record a video uh, and send it to you yeah, tell, is it popping? <laughs> let me just let me just FaceTime you guys. Let check it out though. I just like hit a couple buttons on my slab. And I, 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 it's it's I ratchet it split AM. screen. And it's it's Horst and uh, and Pre on the split screen of my phone. But me and Horst are also very clearly visible from each other's screens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just doing like uh, selfie uh, poses. Down or else, uh, it's, I, or else send me, just this forward is... me this Eva's uh, contact info and I'll get in touch with her myself later. Can you hear yes, it? Yeah. Can you hear the band? Yeah. Oh, it's also, good. Also, it's I, a I... ripping party, man. I think, we're, I think we might just tie one on tonight, man. If you want to come down here to Wheel yeah, Space Guys and hang out. Down and I'll just put all my I can't hear you. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I was going to give you one piece of cryptic advice, though. Uh, um, sure, <laughs> would love that. Yeah, uh, I like I said, they're 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 very careful about their secrets, and um, they 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 they'll talk to you and they'll tell you what they need to know. And if if they help you, that means that they probably want something from you, whether they tell you or not. So go in there knowing that uh, you know. And if you stumble over their secrets. And uh, you get into uh, a situation where they don't want you to know something. There's, there's not much I can do for you. Um, just, just be very, very careful. Oh, when, you, uh, you know, you don't, you don't have to worry about us, Cree. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll take care of it. Uh, just forward me the contact info for this, uh, this Eva person, and uh, we will. Uh... You're on the list. Email. Uh, s s uh, slab mail sent. Yes, and, it's uh, uh, yes. it's q q u three three n underscore zero r zero is my slab and, space. Uh, and you can contact me by uh, rock. Uh, uh, slab daddy. Uh, two <laughs> <laughs> In order uh, to contact okay, yeah. me, you have to put three rocks together <laughs> and chant my name, and I will do it. Oh, you do <laughs> communication cards as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So do you guys, do you guys use the three seashells? <laughs> Sorry, that's so a Ow. man reference. <laughs> oh, is that a man only for a white thing? Um, you get a uh, message come in on your slab, and it says that uh, you have been granted access uh, to have a meeting that will happen um, uh, exactly on the next scene. So, <laughs> oh, hell yes. Where is oh, that? Oh, of course. Here it um, comes. Hold your breath. All right. So uh, everybody do me a favor. As you guys are walking down the streets, uh, making your way downtown, give me a, you know what, a streetwise check would work, a perception check would work, but you'll get different results depending on what you roll and if you pass. So uh, difficulty uh, three on both of those. Mm. 
Uh, I'm sorry. I'll I do uh, streetwise. Uh, you can either do a streetwise check or a perception check as you guys are heading down. Cool. Or you're good. Shen, you fail. No. But, I clicked it. But I did get a Nova point, so I'll pass. take that. Why am I okay, so cool. They're both four. Who cares? Let's go. Three, you said? I'm sorry. I'm so slow. That's okay. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, cool. Oh my gosh, there's so many coming. What's going on? I prisoner passed. Pass, prisoner passed twice. Look at you. Uh, <laughs> the same roll both times. Oh yeah. Uh, Whoa. Yeah. Three, one, two. Whoa, that is crazy. Wait, does that mean? He oh yeah. Does that mean he actually failed three times? That's no, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Three, three Man, doubles. It was difficulty up. six, actually. Um, okay, cool. Um, all right, so as you guys are walking down the street, making your way downtown, um, you, uh, who failed, who passed? All right, so you guys pretty obviously see. Uh, so we'll say that this is right here, the uh, your destination where you're going to. Uh, this is uh, Wheel Space Sally's down here. Sorry, let me make it more clear. Oh, we had a battle in this alleyway before. Yeah, I made this map. It's supposed to look like the alleyway. Yay. Anyways. Oh, that's um, great. Um, oh, yeah. You definitely notice somebody's been tailing you guys. Who passed the... Oh, uh, All but me. Who passed me. the streetwise? Yeah, everyone but Shan. Yeah. No, 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 just the, the specific streetwise check, if it would. Oro and I, yeah, I streetwise and horse horse too. Yeah, so, so you uh, see that somebody's kind of been tracking you, uh, but because of the way this person's tracking you, you feel like they are either trying to be seen, followed by you, or they're just not very good, and uh, you don't feel like they're a particular like immediate threat. Um, the first thing you're thinking is like maybe they're trying to kind of mug you guys and maybe they're like some little life things but uh, no alarm bells go off as you see them. I mean this is a kind of a shady place. I'm gonna tell uh, so the you're boys. used to seeing that. Uh, so, so nothing really kind of rings any uh, alarm bells for you with these people but or with this person who's kind of trailing you but um, you are aware of them. Uh, I will say that. Can I mentally tell everybody to hang a left and press against the wall. Be prepared for some action. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Let's do it. Um, we'll do some mind cool. linkage. Um, so, by the way, this is, you're going right here. I'm just saying this is where you guys are cleared to go. Um, uh, we these can't are just not hang out guys. Here these real are, quick. You can no, no, you can, you can. Okay. I just want to make sure I explained. I explained the the map perfectly. Okay. Um, yeah. So you guys take a left and you kind of hang in the alley, and you just see this person kind of walking past you, like they've lost you, and they look around kind of frantic, and they kind of take off running, uh, continuing um, down right past you guys. Any chance I can um, grab them? Uh, you can give it a shot. Sure. My idea would be like horse presses against the wall with one of his many knives and mm -hmm. waits for the first sign of them and grabs them and slams them against the wall and is like did you lose something? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, what do you want to do? What type of check do you want to do? Oh, shit. Um, I mean, maybe a, a melee. just Or power. I would roll a power. Power would You're work. Melee guy. would work. I'd give you all those. Yeah. I'll throw a power. I'll give you like a grab check, um, or you could even do a stealth. I'd give you a stealth because if you're like kind of how stealthy you are to kind mm -hmm. of grab them, there's a lot of options here. Um, I'd and because you caught him unaware. Yep. Yeah, you could do that. Uh, if you're gonna do power, give me a difficulty of three okay. because they're gonna like be because you're gonna be like showing yourself before you grab them. So mm -hmm. yeah, give me a difficulty three. Okay. Oh, Christ's sake, on a D12. Okay, so um, as you come and you grab, he grabs, you grab him, um, you think you've got him, you have like a nice firm grip, and then he looks at you and kind of laughs, you notice you've got just his robe, and he kind of slips out of it, and as he runs away, he says, the Order of Heroes is always watching! The man is naked. Can I throw can a knife he, at him? Can he trip <laughs> and then get back up and keep running? <laughs> and then he takes off down the street. So yeah. Look at that naked man run. Should I throw a knife at him, guys? <laughs> I think I'm gonna throw yes. a knife at him. Yes. All right. Uh, give me. Uh, I'm gonna do a difficulty of four. Uh, he's fucking taking off. Um, his. Uh, and he's slippery and naked. He's yeah. slippery and naked. Well, I've yeah. got a new robe. Is really what I'm stoked about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. 
Whoops. Okay. Difficulty of four. Yep. Oh, I thought that last one. Oh. Damn it. Alright, it uh you you pull you pull a shard from your body, right? Is that what's going on? No, I was, I was throwing just, one just... of my knives. I have to take damage to do that and I'm waiting for a time where I rip my dick. Oh got it, got it, got it. I know you actually took damage for that. That's awesome. That's so good. <laughs> Alright, so you uh you take your knife um and you toss it and this guy is a lot slicker than you think than he seems. Um you are pretty sure by the way this guy moves, he was very much trying to uh get caught by you guys that was like his whole intention like, was oh, to let you know that you're being followed and that you're being watched and you know he throws and you throw the knife and he just like moves and past it and kind of keeps going um so he gets down the street so yeah, i'm gonna put so, the robe uh, on. message message received i'm putting that robe on <laughs> cool. you have now a uh, black robe um, stitched on the inside, you see a little uh, logo uh, that you do recognize, which is the uh, the logo of the Order of Heroes. Nice. So you have like a uh, kind of off-brand kind of little thing. It's just a little stitch. It's not. It's kind of on the inside. You don't really notice it at first. Nice. Mm. You're putting mm. the robe on. You said. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. I think horse's head is. Uh... His pants got burnt off. That's the only other thing. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing. <laughs> I've been pantless this whole time. Yeah, you just been pushing yeah, it the whole time. Yeah. God damn. Oh, yeah. We'll and I continue right, cool. to do so. Uh, so you guys uh, failed my uh, street encounter, but you got some information about it. But let's continue You're on. You're welcome. What would you like to do? Um, oh, were we already alerted to the presence of, of right people, or is that meta? -y? Am I? Are we not aware? Of these people here? Yeah, we're going yeah. to meet them, I think. Right? Uh, the, those are those are guards that are stationed outside the uh, the headquarters. Okay. Uh, so, so it's kind of like the um, the Senchal Guild uh, sh uh, has their main headquarters, like right downtown in the main area. Uh, they do a lot of business there. Um, you, uh, everybody, do a knowledge check. I'm gonna make this one difficult because I, it's. I want to give you guys some information, but I want you to earn it. Give me a difficulty of five. Damn. Whoa. Let me see if I can get a knowledge difficulty of five. I got this. Oh yeah. This Fuck is yeah. literally. I told you I know nice. about this Nice. Wow. Nice. There you go. I told you I know about Fuck this yeah. guild. Wow. Even the dice know it. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, I will leave it at this because this works really well into canon also. Um, I did it too! Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that, Prisoner, uh, you've heard whispers uh, because you've kind of done some shady shit with these guys and done some stuff when you were with uh, them that not only are they a security guild, but they also are one of the biggest weapons runners um, in the area. That, the, that they have like this... Uh, underground kind of thing that they central guild runs weapons as well so do i know you're that also or do aware I know of that fact i'm sorry i mean really it's, i would say that. because do I know different uh no i'm gonna say that that was kind of the the information i want to give you about the guild okay. uh, any kind of juicy details so i would say that you all know it together i like the way that it fits best with prisoner's backstory since he has done um you know work with them in the past as he stated okay. um that uh, never for them directly I just there noticed there's a lot of pockets no. for guns on the inside of the robe there is there's <laughs> a ton of pockets Slaps rope. You can fit so many firearms into this bad boy. <laughs> um, Shall we proceed? You okay. can fit. You can fit so many arms in this bad boy. <laughs> smack, smack. Everybody else hops in with me. Oh no! Uh, I'm sorry. I wanted to be literally on. Uh, like I can uh, occupy spaces. I want to be uh, on top of you. <laughs> oh hell yeah! Oh, are, you can be yes. my pants. I can, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm actually geez. really bummed because I wanted to do that during that encounter, but I didn't want to like jump on it. But I, you I'm are welcome to just. You have, you know, ongoing consent to be my pants, or to just jump oh. on me, or do anything you want. <laughs> oh, sure thing. <laughs> I, I I will become a uh, a crown upon your head. Perfect. And pants. All right, we're we're, we're wow. a little. Sh 
we're we're gonna go ahead and uh, move on with the with this. So you guys get to the uh, to the guild or to the front entrance, and you see three Ulron gentlemen standing as security guards. Oh and, shit! Um, What's up, boys? Yeah. Uh, can we help you? Do you have a reason for being here? Yeah. We got business here. Do you know who the fuck I am? Uh, oh, boy. I'm sorry, sir. Uh, I'm still drunk, Can you remember. show me? Oh, no, yeah. no, no. We are here to see uh, Ava. Uh, your, your boss. She's expecting us. We have a... Uh, we had uh, gotten clearance for a meeting. All right. Step step right over here, please. Um, as you step forward... Um, oh yeah, you guys. You guys look a bit like the thugs from uh, Clockwork Orange. You get that a lot. Uh, I don't track with that, sir. Uh, let me just give a quick facial scan to make sure that you're uh, you're you're in the system. And he holds a slab up to your face, uh, and he kind of brings it down. Gotta be says, surprised when I'm not. Right. All right. Yeah, you've got. Uh, it looks like you're here uh, for, uh, with business. Uh, Connect the Egan Guild. Connected. It looks like. Uh, all right. Yes. I'm gonna need you guys to step in. I'm going to need you to drop your weapons off. Uh, if you have any weapons in the uh, the security desk up front, no weapons uh, past that point, please. Can I stealth to be his pants? Yes. Uh, <laughs> Just hold your breath and be really still. <laughs> uh, don't mind the farts. No, I'm closing uh, my robe. I'm closing my robe around me. Hide my pants. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Hide yeah. my pants. Yeah, yeah we got that a with bonus, a... dude. <laughs> See that with a di that's another like super difficult thing though. I'm gonna say difficulty five again. Oof. Because ah, I wish these, I saved my role. This is security guys, you know? These, uh, these this is what they do. That's five. Right. Oh, okay, God. cool. D four for a complexity of Even five. with <laughs> Oh wait, no, no it's D four, so yeah. No, pretty, my... pretty oh, I got close. Can no. I no, thought it was pretty good. I you thought can't, I have... you can't you can't succeed with with, with the five difficulty forts. It's, it's impossible. Yeah, that's like, impossible. That's it's physically impossible. I just realized that. Yeah, uh, I'll give you a difficulty of four just to just to kind of because I want this to play out so bad. Okay. Well, if you count um, one yeah, of my fours, four. then I'm good. <laughs> yeah, it's like a, oh wait, no, you have a you have a D10. Never mind. Yeah, my stealth is really high, so I get to uh, reroll yeah. it. No, because it's not you being stealthy. I cover it. It's, the, uh, yeah. it's, it's how quiet and calm the bugs okay. are. That they're not. Uh, yeah, okay. exactly. Gotcha. To attract attention. So, so like, yeah, they're looking at that. He's like, "Excuse me, are those, are those bugle boys you're wearing? <laughs> oh, those are beetle. Those Levi's. are beetle boys. What they're the hell? Boys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need him also to. Uh, to, to scan separately, I'm sorry. Uh, you, you're gonna have to uh, a, uh, form. I don't know how this works with you guys, but I'm I'm gonna need you to get off his nuts. I think it's the same. <laughs> I don't think he has nuts, but uh, I, I didn't check. It might be illegal Rocks. for me to take my pants off in public. Uh, uh, Can yeah. I use my lore of the masses Nova ability on these guys? Uh, tell me about the lore of the masses Nova ability. So, lore of the masses says you can spend one Nova point while not in combat and while speaking to a group of people to convince them to take a course of action under the guise of it being in their best interest. The group does not take any action that knowingly puts them in obvious danger or goes against beliefs they already hold. This For example, yeah, I mean, you can yeah. convince a group of people that are angry at the local government to march on the Capitol building not to jump off a cliff. Yeah, so... So could I, I just think, convince these dudes that it's in their best interest to not give us a hard time and let us through? And to keep I'm going to say on? because this is their job and these dudes are pretty, like, hardcore militant, um, their job is their life, so failing their duty is, like, one of the worst things they could imagine. So I'm going to say no just for the simple fact that you know that would be against that for them would be like walking like to jump off a cliff in there like could professionally it, not, to argue, I, not to argue but I could it not it letting somebody in be that too sure i mean i mean they they will always choose security i mean better to be safe than sorry and if there's people that are to have weapons and try to get into their secure headquarters mm -hmm. i'm gonna say that you know 
you don't have like that kind of pull yet. You guys kind of. So don't what have if any I names. use my demagogue special ability to reduce the complexity of skill rolls made to lie by two? Oh, could I at least could I at least attempt this bluff at a complexity uh, reduced by two? So if you I'm said gonna it go at ahead five, and tell you guys I because I can't want to kind of move forward. I'm gonna say you could That's definitely fair. do that, but it's not gonna help you, and you're gonna waste a point. Okay. Like, you could succeed with this, but the security inside of this building makes anything that you're trying to do out here pretty mute. Fair. Um, they're they're would, just going to they're gonna be able to tell that we've got a run in with us no matter what we exactly, do. Exactly, because you're going to get okay. inside, and there's, there's going to be a scanning system inside, and there's, like, a uh, bunch of stuff okay. you're going to talk. So, Fair so enough. I'm going to go ahead and just... I'm going to save you guys some time and some Nova points and say that even we'll if you in. successfully got past them... Gotcha. That wouldn't keep, it wouldn't serve you anything just to keep the game moving. Can I okay. still wear them as pants? Right. Uh, yeah, you should the still. Go ahead you know. and scan my pants-shaped friend. Yeah. As long, yeah, as long as you identify him as pants and he knows you're there and you go through security <laughs> separately. Right. He, they don't care what you do afterwards. But I would like to know, imagine as long as he stays in the form of pants and a crown as he goes through security. Like they just come <laughs> off me, go through security, I go behind them and just walk right back into them. <laughs> all right, all right, cool. That's very funny. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. That's um, can I use a stealth roll to keep my? Oh, I don't have a laser pistol. I thought I had a laser pistol. Um, can I do a stealth roll to keep my vampire knuckles on me? Um. Uh, sure. So I'm gonna try and think uh, how you'd get them past like the scanner. So it's kind of like uh, I just put them in my butt crack. And- Okay. Cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a word. That's, you need help. Let's, uh, let's, tie them to your tail. Or like, uh, yeah. Or like, uh, oh, what is happening over there? And then just, just like huck it over the top of the metal detector as I walk through. <laughs> All right, I'll give you a difficulty of three for that. Oh my right, god! Give it a shot. Oh my goodness! Those vampire knuckles just fell right out of the ceiling. I look real what hard. A, what I a strange idea! Oh, I caught them. Okay, yeah, so, uh, Whoop. yeah, you get them in, um, there seems to be no issue as everything else kind of gets dropped off, uh, anything that, um, uh, has any type of, uh, you know, your laser gun, your pistols, whatever it is that you're carrying Yeah, on that your, your stuff I don't gen- mind leaving. Your shield generators as well, they ask you to leave at the door. Oh, um, that I don't like. Yeah. I wish I had uh, known, I wish I had thought to throw that over the top of the metal <laughs> detector instead of my nigh upon useless brass knuckles. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, I'm going to so pull you, the triggers out uh, of my guns before I hand them over, though. Yeah. Okay. You did what? Pull the triggers out? Uh, right. they're, like, they're Glocks. You, you pop them right out, dude. They're fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Drop in triggers. No problem. No words. All right, so uh, you are escorted into this little uh, room, and before too long, you have uh, Eva walks in. Uh, she's also an Ulron, and she kind of looks at you sideways, horsed for a second, um, almost like she recognizes you. Um, uh, what what do you do as she's kind of like looking <laughs> you over? I'm eyeing her up too, and I'm like, uh, I, uh, you know, didn't expect to see another Oron in here. Hmm. You, you look familiar. I feel like I know you from somewhere. Is that is that possible? Uh, you know, <sighs> we're all from the same place. We don't see many of us off of Marthong, so um, maybe we've run into each mm. other before. I've been exploring the galaxy a bit. I'm trying to uh, make my way. Your father. Yes. Are you the... Are you the general's son? Shh. Yes. I... Oh my gosh, it is you. You, you may not remember me, but I served uh, on your father's personal detail many many years ago before uh well before the incident and uh pretty much uh, haven't been back there ever since but yeah i i i heard that you had disappeared there was rumors of you and then all of a sudden you show up on the tv all over this this planet i but how, how are you doing I, it's how what are you doing here 
I'm going to immediately go into the ceremonial greeting dance of our people. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tell me what that looks like. Uga chaka. Uga. Exactly. Uga chaka. <laughs> it's like a haka, but there's a lot of us like pounding our chests and each other's fists, and there's a chest bump in there. Um. I was okay. Okay. I'm just uh, like you Eva, I hardly you. recognized you. Sorry. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah. Give me. Give me a. Uh, give me an empathy roll. Difficulty three, please. Empathy. Yeah. Empathy. Interessant. Okay, hold on. I need to reset this real quick. Empathy. 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 It's another fail. And oh, a really it's a triple fail. Triples. Oof. It's been a and, long time. Okay, so so, so as you as you start doing it, but yeah, she looks. She's like, really I, good. I could... That's why I up my perform was for the no, no, but but yeah, per perform is good. But she she stops. She's like, I can tell, I can tell your heart's not into this. I can tell that you are not feeling this. The raka is a dance that sends the energy from the other person. I I'm not sure that I'm receiving that from you. Is I know. Look, I I I want to tell you. I also believe that the Ulrons plan of becoming a big rock wall. Well. It was enough to also send me packing, and and you know that's that's how I ended up here and uh, working as the uh, as a gun for hire uh, receptionist. And this is this is pretty much my life now. But we don't have to go through the movements. It's it's quite all right. What I want you to know I incident? have the utmost respect for you. So uh, yes, uh, how can I how can I help you? But what brings you here? I see the uh, the Egan Guild has requested that we we listen to you. They say they're very uh, very grateful to you, and you know Egan Guild giving away favors for <laughs> for somebody they don't know is pretty impressive. Uh, what 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 can I do for you, gentlemen and lady? And I'm not sure if uh, this <laughs> pants uh. has it them. Pronouns are not necessary. I don't want the pants to speak. <laughs> <laughs> the pants, really, would you, you like know, to say it anything? Is a, it is a bad omen when the pants start talking, as they say in the Eno culture. I will allow my pants to answer your question. <laughs> if you see the pants are talking, don't come along. <laughs> These pants are made for talking. <laughs> um, well, right. these these Wrangler denims are going to say... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, really like, I like the uh, other boys. I, I, yeah. I now the understand the the, uh, the orientation now. Um, I mean, we're looking for that... We're, oh, our follow, we're, we're trying to follow up on Missing Dude Guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're trying to find out about Talon. We're looking for a person and a place, but not yes. a thing. Oh, yeah, if we can get more info on shit like Saboya and Ardone and stuff, maybe we could just maybe we could just tip these guys off on the stuff on Ardone. They're I'm a security remind, guild. I'm going to also remind you guys that you did get the... Uh, or, or Vona, you specifically uh, were warned about throwing throwing around the Saboya word, um, that it could lead oh, to some trouble. Joking. Uh, like, no, he, he said like, he said he was pretending he was pissed off about it, uh, but he was right, like, he, he was, was like, that's like, one of like, those that's one of those things that you shouldn't talk to everyone about. And I was like, whoa, really? And he was like, nah, that's just some old uh, glean superstition. Mm, yeah, but that, right. but still, he he said that, but he was halfway serious. Like he pretended that he was like offended by. It. He's like, what did you say? And then you're like, uh, he's like, no, nah, just kidding, man. He's like, but you shouldn't go around. You know, this man about is about a that. high high drama. Uh, 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 Bahu. Mm. Yeah, you know, we say in, those... in uh, you know, <laughs> you know those, Bahu. You know. That's what I was gonna call him. It's it means that. Uh, it's what we say for uh, fake or phony, but it literally means potted pork. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okie dokie. You know, uh, does that make any sense? I know idioms are hard to translate. What's a pork? 
It's like a, you know, like a space pig. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry, I should have said space, potted space pork. Oh, so it's oh, space police. Okay. Yes. Space <laughs> police. Gotcha. <laughs> space <laughs> That's space very hunters. funny. Uh, in the other sci-fi game I'm playing in, uh, as the psychotic sentient battle armor suit, um... An ongoing uh, rallying cry for our for our group is space fuck the space police. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, now you're playing two games that have that motto. <laughs> yep. <laughs> space fuck the space police, as I always say. Space fuck the space park. Fiberian, Fiberian. Prisoner not Cool. The so, uh, so do you guys, what, what, what do you guys need? I, I, uh, <laughs> well, I'm very busy. Standing here in front of this cop <laughs> talking about fuck the police. <laughs> Just completely diverted from the actual conversation. <laughs> well, that was nice. I, thank you guys for the entertainment. But go. It's time. Yes. Anyway, Eva, Eva, may I yes, call you yes. that? Do you have a better title that I could refer to you by? Perhaps you know us. You know, are very big on the respect and titles. Uh, yeah, uh, they call me Captain, Chief. Lieutenant, Chief, 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 Chief Eva. They call me Chief, Chief, Chief Eva. Chief Eva. We have a. Uh, we have. Uh, we are sort of a what would you call it a independent investigation uh, firm. Mm-hmm. And we also dabble in interstellar deliveries. If, uh, yes, and uh, courier service as well. If you have any uh, anything you need to be have mailed. Um, but we have a client, and uh, he is worried about his brother. He he is. Uh, Concerned that perhaps he has become involved in a uh, some uh, some dirty business here in the Senchild Guild, and I was wondering if you would be able to put us into contact. Uh, I have his name. Well, his first name is Talon. I have his last name written down here. If the cultist. Sweet, my sweet Jesus, the the game master would tell me. Uh, Perhaps he has it more accessible than me. I don't think I gave him a last name. You definitely uh, did at one point. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll uh, call him Taylon. You could be uncreative like me and just use symbols. <laughs> but that really I limits you on last names. It, you mean, uh, you talk about Taylon Fjork. Ooh. There we go, Taylon Fjork. Uh, that sounds yeah. great. Mm-hmm. Um, geez, uh... I mean, I can't really just be giving information about uh, about an important. Oh no, we're not why, asking why for it, any why is information. Why is it that you're coming in specifically to ask about him and his mission? May I ask why? Uh, what brought that up? Are we oh, the, his only whatever or mission or? he may be, whatever mission he may be on is is of no concern to us. The 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 functioning of the guild is is. Strictly confidential, and I understand that it was simply the, the circumstances under which he uh, left the company of his brother that caused his brother concern. And we do not wish to make any trouble here for you, or for the guild, or for Talon. All we wish uh, to ascertain is if he is uh, healthy and of sound mind and body. I think that's good. this is going to be some role here, I believe. Okay. Uh, yeah, give me, give me. Uh, what is it? Suave? Is that what we're calling it on this one? I could do a suave. I think suave would be a good one. Oh man, it's only a fucking. Why is my suave so low? It's only a D four. I should be way suaver than this. But you care so much. Your empathy is a D twelve. I yeah, I was gonna say I care so much. Could I try empathy instead? Um, you know what? You know what? Give me an empathy difficulty of three to see okay. if I can get some insight, and this might make your persuasion a little bit more uh, more easy. Hey. That's okay, fast. you could definitely tell that there's when you bring up his name. Um, you right, know, it was, it was attitude kind that of... she knew who that was, which is weird for someone this high up to know a new recruit. And it was, and you realize that she kind of puts an emphasis on like 
his mission, like, <clears throat> as if, like, you know, there's it's, it's the particular mission that's kind of, like, why she's aware of it. Sure. Um, but, uh, yeah, so why don't you give me a difficulty of, uh, uh, for SWAT, for, yeah, difficulty of three. Oh, boy. Hey! Yay! Hey! Nice. Okay, cool, because I wasn't sure how I was going to get you out of this one if you failed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, she looks, she's like, look, um, good kid. Uh, we, we put him on a mission that was, was supposed to be pretty easy. Um, he said he had experiences on some ships. He had experiences at the end oh, of the burn. Oh, boy. Oh, come uh, on. I thought Taylor so, was the smart one. Yeah, so he was on a, uh, he was on a ship called the Midnight. Uh, doing a, a plasma recovery mission, and uh, it's it's just very strange that you come in asking about him because it looks like we lost contact with him. That Wait, this wasn't on a this wasn't on a derelict mining platform, was it? Uh, no, no, this was. Uh, oh, okay, Jesus Christ. Okay. This this was hey, uh, this Christ. was. Uh, you, you're talking about. Uh, no, this the one that went to go yeah to rescue the derelict mining platform. Yeah, there was a they were on a barge <laughs> to meet the derelict mining platform. How did you know that? Wait, we got sent there by the Egan Guild. Were you also sending agents there to recover the plasma from that station? Who who did that we were, station belong to in the first place, and what was it even called? I'm not sure who the station be belonged to, but the Egan Guild sent a... Uh, What's your space... code name for it, so I have a better thing to write down than derelict mining platform in my notes? Uh, that <laughs> is called... That is good. good question. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Chief. <laughs> Let's let me go through my notes. Um, we call it uh, the quartz. All the quartz right. Quartz mining station. Quartz mining station. Excellent. And so, um, hmm. so what else do you know about what went on there? Huh? Well, they they were supposed to be back. Look, we don't know much about <laughs> the station. We just know that the Egan Guild hired us to do some security. Uh, they were going out there, and then. Um, we lost contact, uh, and uh, you know it's uh, space pirates. You know, usually coming out there. I know they had some sure. special uh, special crew and cargo that was being picked up from that ship. So, uh, like a big you know, crab shaped robot. Well, no, I, I, I unfortunately I, I can't discuss the matter any further. The security mm, of, of, of what was there, but. So Could I? You guys were involved. Uh, plasma was being picked up, and well, it looks sure, like we, we we got that. We got all that plasma. It's all oh, back. Yeah. That's all back because of us. Can we? Can is there anything I can do to convince you to maybe help us a little bit more? We're trying to solve what what may well be an interstellar mystery. Well, uh, if you, uh, I can. Okay, look, I tell you what, I can bring you along, put you on the payroll for this job. We can send you guys out. You keep it hush-hush, because it's quite embarrassing. I don't want anybody to know that this is kind of happening. Uh, I mean, they're aware that the, they've lost contact, but it's only going to be a matter of days before they, they realize that uh, they haven't checked in. So I could give you uh, the last known, last known coordinates and uh, where they were supposed to be rendezvousing. And if you... Uh, if you all want to go out and and take a look and see what you can find, that would be uh, that would be doing me a solid. Along Wait, with, the last uh, last known coordinates of who? Of the ship he was on. Oh, the Talon was on. Yes. Oh. Okay. Okay. If you, so if you guys, okay, so since it's been a while, you guys went out to the station to the uh, to the quartz mining platform mm -hmm. to make sure shit was cool. Uh, after you made sure shit was cool, the uh, Midnight uh, arrived there to load on the plasma because your ship could not take all that plasma. You all hopped into your ship. You took Lawala back to um, your... Um, you brought back to Azabni while the other ship, uh, the Midnight, carrying the cargo, was going to follow you guys and get there at a later date. Uh, it never arrived. 
Um, so that is uh, uh, what is going it. on here. So yeah, so that ship, the Midnight, the ship that rendezvoused with you guys at the courts that got loaded up with the plasma, has uh, not made contact. Uh, what's his name was hired by this guild to work security detail on the Midnight. Got it. it to the uh, the courts, or did it not make it there? They did. Yeah, you guys saw it. You saw it make it the courts. You were okay. there when it made it to the courts. Loala was, was on the like ship. One one ship was kind of docking while the other ship. We were on our ship, being like, "All right, guys, it's safe. Go on in." Exactly. Mm. You guys were forward team, and you guys secured the platform to make sure that you know they could even get in there while the other ship was kind of behind you guys. So, mm. so yep. So uh, it all ties back together somehow. Did the plasma geists also go on the midnight? They sure did. Oh man, fuck. All right. <laughs> oh, I like the way your brain works, Ivan. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what else could have gone wrong? I thought the plasma guys were so nice. Can I do... Some of them were nice. I know we're coming up on, on quitting time. Yeah, you're right. I know we're coming up on quitting time. Can I do a... I would like to do a combo move, if possible. Uh Hunter. Punch her in the rock boob and in the face. Got it. No, yeah. no, 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 no. I'm not gonna. Okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna punch anyone. Um, mm -hmm. Though that would give me my D6 that I need for another Nova point. Um, no, what I want to do is I would like to do uh, a skull duggery or a uh, perception check. To see if there's like anything in the room that I think that like I can spot that is relevant to midnight specifically. Like if there's like a file on the so desk. So I'm or gonna say like they, they brought you into a very kind of uh, sure, almost, just a very like generic. An like an interrogation room, exactly. Yeah, so it's kind of like a okay. conference room. There's right, not a mind. lot there. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to find an excuse to do this last stealth roll. <clears throat> Excuse me, so I can get a, so I can get my fourth Nova point, even though I consistently forget to use my Nova abilities. <laughs> well, and also don't forget, you can use your Nova ability, I believe, as a kind of a contact thing. Like it's kind of like a. Uh, uh, what is it? The Deus, Deus Ex Machinima type thing? What was that called? Like, what am I Deus Ex Machina? Yeah, Deus Ex Machina. That's what I meant. <laughs> I was thinking <laughs> becoming human. Um, yeah, so you can use it for that to like call somebody in to like help you out, and you could also use it to reroll. Oh, that's failure. interesting. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't realize like but no yeah, point like that. Yeah, I think you can use it as like inspiration. Also, oh, I didn't know also, that at all. there is also the advantage pool thing that we were. Uh, yeah, yeah I'm gonna get you guys. That? I'm gonna get you guys advantage pool. It's on my notes of things to do. Um, I I want to get you guys a realistic uh, list of advantage points. So I will have it by next session. Right. I do apologize right. about that. Wow, I totally yeah. forgot. Guess what? Guess what? It's just like uh, it's a mechanic I don't want to forget about because I need it to do the healing. Right. right. You have a specific ability that yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, no, it. I will have you guys advantage points by next session. Okay, so now I count the... up what cool shit you did. I I don't think this had any bearing. You know what? I'm looking right here. I already have it. You guys have six advantage points. Great, right now. Hey, that's actually really cool. Oh no shit! You're um, making it up. If you're looking at your character no, sheet, right here. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. If you're looking at the character sheet and you have that uh, in the box in the corner that says <laughs> conditions, uh, mm -hmm. and it's like pluses and minuses mm -hmm. if you yes. have a minus clicked what does that do uh it depends on which minus you click so if you click on the big minus you get um a negative on all your rolls um if you have a medium minus or medium plus you have one of your three uh trait trees uh minus so mental physical or social would be minus um, if you have a little minus, it's a particular skill like melee or medicine or empathy. That's that's uh, minus. So, yeah. so if you click on the littlest one, you'll see that like right, their little heart shows up. And when you click on it, it uh, gives you. So like if you did this, and you did this. Uh huh. Okay. Yep. Ravunana. 
So it just kind of adds extra dice. Even though I rolled a complexity of two, it uh, rolled three instead. So, And then if I had, like, uh, there you go. Cool. Oh, hey. Eva. Eva rolled. And she failed. <laughs> Eva. Um, all right, cool. So um, she asked you if you want to take the job. Uh, she says that it uh, pays uh, pretty decently. She says um, if you can, you know, uh, do it quietly and uh, kind of keep anybody from finding out, there's a, there's a bonus. And if you can recover all the plasma and if there's... So, so here's the thing. If um, you find it, come back to me. That's great. I'll give you 10,000 Argent. That's fantastic. If you find it, and there's some, you know, less than uh, fair play has happened, if you know what I mean, there's an extra uh, 20 in it for you to uh, to kind of get down to the bottom of it. I'd rather, uh, if you guys come back, I'd rather you come back with a solved problem, and I will, I will pay you very handsomely for it. If you come back to me with more problems, I might be able to give you something, but, you know, I, I would appreciate if you understand what I'm saying and you know be sure to keep it quiet and uh, I'm gonna give you uh, 15,000 Argent to get started what do you say <clears throat> so, lay those numbers on me one more time boss uh, sorry and I messed up the math on the last part anyway so that's perfect uh, if you go out there and uh, you find where they're at fantastic you come back here you let me know just straight up information mission that's 20,000 Argent if you uh, go out there and you uh, find some issues and uh, you were able to solve them for me, you know, if you uh, happen to find some pirates who happen to take the ship, for example, or or something else, uh, but you can recover the cargo for me, uh, that'll be uh, that'll double your your rate. Great. Oh, yeah. okay. uh, I was definitely and I can offer you, holding you to saying total. extra twenty. <laughs> Yeah, it's like hazard pay. Yeah, well, extra 20 is the same thing. Got it. Yeah. Oh. So, 20,000 for identifying the problem, 20,000 more for solving it. Yeah. And, of course, you know, you're working with, uh, as a contractor, you're working with uh, with the best. So, uh, you know, we uh, if there's any other extra expenses, you can bring them to us as a contractor. And, uh, you know, if there's any extra labor involved, we will obviously uh, look into we that will, as well. Uh, we will you, have just our... Just keep receipts. Uh, keep all your receipts, please. And, uh, you know, make sure it's documented. We want line items, uh, every action that you did. And, uh, you know... Please uh, be thorough with your paperwork when turning it in. I'm going to go ahead and put you in touch with Lisa. She's going to start your onboarding process. And uh, we get uh, 15,000 15, of that uh, oh, first no, 20,000. 10,000 10, 10, 10, up front? Yes, 10, 10, 10 up front uh, uh, for starting bonus. I'll tell you what. Um, uh, because. Uh, and then because how much additional right for each barrel of plasma we bring? Oh well, we we really don't do per plasma barrel because that's not really what we're there for. If you want to make money off plasma barrels, well, if you get the ship back and it's still plasma barrels on it, it'll be extra money for you to get the plasma. No, we. I'm more interested in finding out what's going on, but so we uh, you get know, the plasma. Uh, that's fair. Well, Look, then. if the plasma's intact and you get the delivery, that that's going to complete the job because the delivery. But you know. Uh, I more importantly want want to know what happened, and if there was foul play involved, I want the people involved to answer. If you feel Excellent. like you can't handle it, you come sure. back to me. No, no. You know, I, if I the plasma it. comes back, that's a bonus. You know, maybe there's something that can be done. But really, my crew was there to protect the ship, and uh, let's just say that uh, there's uh, this happened on my watch, and uh, I might I, I might not have. I might not have sent the best crew out there with him, and I would I would hate this for it to be my fault. I appreciate your candor, my friend. Uh, I, I hope you will believe me when I say that we have your and your crew's best interest in mind by undertaking this investigation. I appreciate that. I, uh, you know, like like we like we always say here at the at the guild, uh, you know, work for a team. As long as uh, the team pays well, you know what I'm saying. That's kind of like what. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, there, there's loyalty. We we're we're thicker than we're thicker than water, 
No, how does it go? Damn it. Uh, 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 anyway. Rock is thicker <laughs> than uh, stone. In uh, in the Inno speech, we have a we have a saying that uh, that goes uh, a, a little something like this. It's it's roughly translated. It means uh, you know good luck and uh, good spirits. But it is Malerda uh, Ogratana Lafana Vabaraska Jekozit. Krasoze Shigorit Kasazejit Tethkerushi. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> no, that's that's beautiful. But no, but for serious, you know, we Wait, like what's to it mean? Yeah. I'm sorry. It it, it means the thing I said the first time. Oh I'm sorry, I missed that part. <laughs> it was on the front end. At the back of those I was too busy. Meanwhile, Prisoner is muttering, mm -hmm. muttering somewhat loudly under his breath. Twenty thousand to fight pirates. I was gonna get paid that to catch a cat. <laughs> <laughs> well, it might be forty k. Really? Yeah. Yeah, he um, wanted he wanted that thing the, bad. The Who's um, paying twenty thousand for a fucking? Well, I mean, I guess well, some. Oh, do you through. think the guy looking for the blip is the same dude that was hiring? Prisoner to to find that thing in the pit? No, because it was Noviosa that was uh, uh, trying to get the. Well, well, Noviosa didn't say he was hiring to do it, so maybe it was through the Order of Heroes. That's yeah, he's good. he's just a go-between. Yeah, yeah, that's good speculation there. Uh, Shit, I gotta make a note yeah, of that. I, mean, like, yeah, like, <laughs> I like the, I like where you guys are going with this too. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, uh, oh no, I, I had a serious saying, uh, but I was just joking around, uh, kind of trying to make serious. Sense here, you know, but, uh, but, uh, yeah, when, when you, when you're under contract, you're family, so, so, uh, when you're with us, we're, uh, you know, your family, so please don't, don't mess around and please do right by us while, while you're under contract. We don't really care what you do when you're not under contract, but, uh, as long as you're here, please, uh, respect, respect the guild. I have two questions for you, sister. You got it. Yes. Are there other Oranians in the crew that are on this ship? And if not, what species are they? Well, uh, we've got uh, sort of different species. We had, uh, we had, a, I believe there was a Glean on there. Uh, there was definitely uh, Cthulhu's. You know, the engineers were definitely Cthulhu's. Are you talking about specifically people who uh, who were uh, on the uh, on the crew, or are you talking about my particular uh, security on, detail? On the on the on the the crew of the security detail that will be on the plasma ship. Who are the guys? What what are the people that are uh, could be on our team look like? And if there's a situation, I was wondering if there were more of our kind on there. Uh, well, there's going to probably be an Ulron or two. There definitely was when we sent them. Uh, we've got the Cthulhu's that are out there as well. Um, and uh, let me see here. Uh, yeah, it looks like um, as she picks up some paperwork and she starts looking through it. And uh, we see that there is. Give me a second. Uh, next page. As she's scrolling through, let's see. Let's see. Uh, okay, looks like we've got. Oh my goodness gracious! How far am I gonna have to go? Oh right, yeah, yeah. We've got uh, Ulron uh, that we're on the crew. We see right here. Uh, looks like uh, we've got, um, a, as I'm continuing to look through this very long paperwork, very sorry, I was not expecting to You're answer um, There's a, uh, yeah, so there's some old runs. There are, um, uh, um, uh, looks like there's a Zavoy as well. That uh, looks like they were with uh, the, the Ark. Uh, okay. members of the ARC were on that as well. Uh, so yeah, we've got pretty much uh, all species around the sun. We got, uh, uh, looks like here that there was even a Drifling that was on board as well. Shifty eyes. Yep. Um, and are the Orani outside of, of like... And Zivoy. Like I said Zivoy, you? right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the, uh, the Orani... Uh, 
you know, uh, it's hard to say. The uh, looks like the all run that's uh, there on the uh, the crew. It's it's hard to say what they what they kind of believe in. It's you know because it, it's it's still all right for all run to work on uh, on the plasma trade and be out there. So it's normal that there's ambassadors. Uh, that are sent out every now and then to to work on crews to keep things so honestly you know i i don't know uh they could be working uh as emissaries of marthong they could be on their own but my guess to be honest with you if they're on the crew um they're probably friends with uh with the marthong government risky biscuits okay mm -hmm. fuck i can't believe you asked that question <laughs> That was fucking awesome. Nice. Thank you for your time, Eva. And I'm going to do the miniature version of the hawk, the raka that we do, which is basically <laughs> just throwing up the horns and shaking your tongue in between it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it sounds. Yep. <laughs> As your tongue bounces back and forth from exactly. your rock mouth. Um, she, uh, she responds in kind and, uh, she says, oh, don't forget to do your onboarding. It's, it's a bit of a pain in the ass and also, uh, you know, sexual harassment classes and, and all that stuff. You know what? I'll put you down for maybe when you get back, go ahead and, uh, why don't you go ahead and get this thing started for us as soon as possible. And remember, uh, you know, if anybody asks what you're doing, just, uh, just, uh, let them know that you're, uh, you're doing some location scouting for, for me, um. That's that's all they need to know. Thank you, sister. All right. Location. Any last questions? No. Thank you for your time. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right. So you yes, all thank you for seeing us. Um, and then, uh, as you're about to walk out, she uh, taps you on the shoulder and says, "So uh, I, I don't know shoulder. what the situation is with you, but uh, but are you going to be going to?" Uh, Back to Marthong. I'm going to take a long pause, a deep breath, and say it's part of my destiny. Mm. Uh, that's uh, well, it's what fate has in we'll, store for me. Well, I I was, I was. Uh, well, when you do, just uh, let me know how beautiful the sky looks, because I miss it every day. You and me both, sister, every goddamn day. And with that, we will close our scene. Uh, I want to say thank you to all you wonderful people out there listening. Uh, this was a really fun episode. Uh, we had a lot of new people in chat, and we broke our record of viewers in chat. No shit! Yep. Mm -hmm. I really, really enjoyed this episode. I'm going to be honest, a uh, little um, meta talk that I'll bring up. We're going to do like a little bit of an after show wrap up if you want to stay up for like uh, another 10 minutes. Uh, but this is uh, Arius. Uh, we've got Paul hey, saying hey. goodbye. Come on, I'll, I'll point to you and you say bye. I'll pretend I'm pointing to you, Paul. Bye. 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 Hey, bye. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Tommy. Hey, have a good night, guys. See ya. <laughs> and Jesso. Bye. Thank you all for traveling the <laughs> this galaxy. This is so we don't us. do the say goodnight everyone bit. <laughs> that's exactly yeah, that's right. right. I dude, dude, to say it's night. like written in all caps in his notes. Don't <laughs> tell everybody to say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody out there, thanks for traveling the galaxy with us. We'll see you next time on How to Kick Flip a Horse. Hit me with that banger.
Thank <laughs> you.